Bogota is a massive, sprawling metropolis of over 7.5 million people, spanning over 1,500 square kilometers. As you can imagine, getting around in a city this large can be problematic, especially since there is a historic lack of infrastructure and development. Bogotá's rising middle class are putting more and more cars on the road, leading to incredible congestion. The government has taken steps to control traffic by instituting Pico y Placa, a law that restricts private vehicles from operating on alternating days of the week during rush hours based on their license plate number. This has helped, but the city's roadways are still virtually paralyzed during rush hours. A more common way to get around the city is on a colectivo, a small, privately owned and operated bus. Their route and schedule are set completely at the driver's discretion, and the bus is stopped in the middle of the street to pick up or drop off passengers. It is an intricate and hopelessly confusing system, but provides transportation for a large part of the city's lower classes. A single ride on a colectivo costs 1,250 pesos. If you've got a bit of extra cash, a taxi is the most efficient way to get around the city. At any given point, there are dozens of taxis lingering in the streets and idling at the curbs to pick up passengers. Taxi drivers have been known to be connected to thieves, so hailing one off the street is not a good idea. You can call a taxi from a reputable company to come pick you up your house for no extra charge. A medium distance taxi ride will cost you around 10,000 pesos. In response to the city's growing public transportation problems, in 1999 the city of Bogota began work on the Transmilenio, a high capacity dedicated bus lane. The system functions like an above ground metro with stations located throughout the city. Today, the bus provides fast, cheap transportation to most of the city and is continuing to expand. With such heavy traffic on the streets in a city of almost 8 million people, pedestrian flow can be dense and dangerous, especially since roadway rules and courtesies are not well ingrained in drivers. That's why the city has constructed pedestrian bridges to provide a safe walkway over many major roads, many of which were built as part of Transmilenio stations. Getting around the city on bike has also become much easier since the city began construction of ciclo rutas, small lanes built into sidewalks for bicycle traffic. They tend to connect major roads through parks and green areas, making for faster, more pleasant routes.